Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another live stream with Code Changers. I'm your host today, Mr. Jason. Uh, this week, we're working on a contest. I hope everybody enters where I know you guys are stuck at home with quarantine. We want everybody to make their own board game. So you can see here up on that side right there, uh, my board game that I made. I made it here in person on this beautiful piece of paper. We're going to explain my board game, how I built it. Uh, the key feature of this board game is you guys have to integrate your game with the micro bit. And it's okay if you don't own a micro bit, you can just use the digital micro bit that's available on the makeco.microbit website. But we're going to talk a little bit about my game and then I'm going to revisit what I created on the micro bit and maybe we could come up with some ideas for you guys' video game. Again, $40 gift card on the line. Hopefully that makes it worth your time to have some fun with your family at home and play the board game. So if you guys look at my, my board game, I went ahead and took a picture of it and then I... Uh, I plugged it in to this software here. I'll have to drag it up a little bit, zoom it out a little bit. So you can see my my rough board game. I call this one Pink Lava. The reason I call it Pink Lava is players are going to start here on the bottom left corner. I'll go ahead and make a fake little piece. I didn't know the best way to play this on my live stream. So there's me. I'm going to make myself a blue character. So you can see here that if I zoom into my game a little bit, you'll see that I'm chilling right here. Well, I need to be able to move through my board. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my game where I've coded out this on shake function, which will be a dice, which means if I click the on shake button, it will show me a number, random number between one and six. So I'm gonna shake that number and move two. And so I'm gonna go back to my board and um, I'm gonna go one and two. And just so that I can make this a little bit more exciting, we're going to pretend that you guys are this uh, purple character right here. Okay, so now it's your turn. I'll go ahead and I'll roll the dice for you. I click shake and you're going to move five. I swear I did not. Oh, you guys missed it by one. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. You avoided this orange square. I'll tell you what that orange square is. That orange square is what I call a chance or choice square. And so if you guys watch the video from Tuesday, you'll see that I coded out this area that every time you land on an orange square, you're gonna press the A button. When you press the A button, you guys either are gonna lose a life, gain a life, or you're gonna stay the same. So it's kind of like a chance. And you start with five lives. If you, you can die in this board game, which isn't maybe normal for a lot of board games, but in, in my board game, if you don't make it to the end um, with five, with if you make it to the end with zero lives, you don't make it to the end, you die. That's the worst way I could have said it possible, but that's what we're going with. So I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to click shake again. Dang it, one. And um, now it's your turn. We're going to shake the micro bit. You you move two, so on and so forth. Let's say down the road we get to this point where I'm chilling at this crossroads. So in my board game, I want it to be interesting in the sense that you can either choose this shorter path, which is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares long, or there's this outside path, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's almost twice as long to go around the outside, but if you look at it, there's only two chances you have of potentially losing a life. So let's pretend it's my turn. I'm gonna click shake. I'm gonna go the uh, the way of the bottom. I got four, and so I got one, two, three, and crap. 
I'm on the orange square, which means I'm going to initiate the A button. And it's telling me that I that you gain one life. Yes! All right, so now I'm working on that. We'll see what the purple guy you guys all get. I'm going to hit shake. You guys got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dodge the bullet. I'm just going to go one more for me. And I got three. And so I dodged the bullet. I got pretty lucky. Okay, cool. So anyways, you guys can see the gist of, of my board game here. All you have to do is create a board game. You can use pieces. My piece in the real world is actually just this screw that I found um, on the ground. And now that's my character. And so you guys can see it's that easy. I grabbed a piece of paper. I drew with uh, some of my favorite colors of markers on a piece of paper. I created it. And the goal of my game is to work through this map and to have these chance things happen. I think I need to add more to my game. And I will, and I'll show you more on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to add some more features to my micro bit. But for those of you that are just joining us, I'm going to switch to my code. Okay, cool. So in the website, makecode.microbit.org, you'll see that um, you guys can code on the microbit. So obviously the first one that I'm going to rehash is the on shake. When I click on shake, when I shake the microbit, I want that to be the dice. Most video games rock dice for their, for their game. So that's the first part. The next part is that whole um, chance thing. I'm trying to think what else I could add to my game so that I could show you on the fly. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, because I called it Pink Lava, I'm going to actually go back here. I'm going to make this full screen just so that next time I can slide between the two. And then um, I think what I'm going to do is if your square is touching the Pink Lava, we're going to have a new function that determines if you fall in the lava or not. So it's going to be a little bit more risky. So what I'm thinking is if you're on a square right by the pink lava, you are going to um, have a chance every time of falling off that edge into the pink lava. So I'm going to go to input. I'm going to click on on button B press. So I actually click on button A press, but then I can switch the value up here to B. And then so an on button B press I'm going to create a new, um, just like we did here in the A, I'm going to create a new variable. And I'm going to call this one lava. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to set lava to zero. I'm going to add that into my on button B press. And then instead of zero, I'm going to go to math. And I'm going to grab the one fourth from the bottom, pick random zero to ten. And so um, I'm going to grab that, throw it on top of my zero here, and I'm going to pick a random number between one and two. So basically what I'm going to have happen is if the number's one, I'm going to say that you fall into the lava and you lose a life. If the number's two, you don't fall into the lava. So way to do that we can do that within logic I'm gonna grab this one that's the second here if true then else I'm gonna grab that and drag it into my code and then under logic I'm gonna have zero equals zero and so um, first thing I'm gonna do is say if lava if lava equals one, then I'm going to go to basic, I'm going to show a string, and I'm going to drag that string into here. And so um, inside here, show string, instead of uh, saying hello, I'm going to say you, you fell, lose one. And then I can actually right click on this or on some Chromebooks or Macs, you can click with two fingers, click duplicate. So just you're really right clicking there. 
And then the other option, which is just the only other option, is going to be like, um, I'm trying to think it's not sound lame. Do I say you didn't fall off? Um, I'll just say you have you have bad skills. But it'll work. Okay, cool. So now it adds a little bit of craziness to my game specifically because when I switch back over to my game, what it's going to mean is when you take this short route, you're not only taking the chance of every other square being a risky one, but you're also every time going to have to roll the, uh, the rule before. So we're going to just play this game real quick with the new options. So let's say... Me, Mr. Blue goes first. I'm going to shake it, and I got a one. And I'm like, sweet. I dodged the orange ones. But now I have this new function that I just added called lava, which means I'll have to press B. And B says, you fell. Dang it. So now I'm down one life. Now it's your turn to go. You guys are the purple guys, and they're going to shake My message is, maybe that's the disadvantage of making a long one. Okay, so you got a five. Lucky you. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Um, you're taking the easier route, but it, it, but it is a lot farther. And then um, you're going to have to press the B button as well. And you got, you fell. That's great news for me. So you lost the life too. And you can see that this will continue on in the game. So already, just in a matter of 30 minutes, which is about how long I've streamed between today and Tuesday, you guys have learned the basics that you need to have a micro bit coded um, and be part of the, the game. I'm going to come back on Tuesday. Um, so there's two things we should talk about. We should talk about how to submit a video, and then we should talk about how to, um, how to go about making your own for the rest of the day. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to give you guys a $40 gift card if you win this contest. We want you guys to have your parents take a video of your game. I want you guys to sell your game just like I sold mine. Like, hey, this is my game. This is how you play. And this is how you do it. And I want you to see the gameplay, see how it works. I want you to show me any cool things that you thought of, any cool rules, anything like my pink lava pit that I did in mine. And then I want them to email that video to our email hello at codechangers.com that's hello at codechangers.com or they can uh, yeah that's really the best way email us hello at codechangers.com um, Tuesday before our live stream that's when I'm going to announce the winner so make sure to get your videos in by Tuesday if you guys have any questions with the micro bit or any of this stuff Hit us up. We'd love to help. And until Tuesday, we'll see you again. Thanks.